Bill turned into Lilith. And um, Suki and Eric running from him. What I didn't understand is why they ran into the elevator. They should have just, I guess they just panicked and didn't really know where to go. When he started tearing up the wires and stuff, I was thinking, what's going to happen? Then they show uh, Pam, Eric, Nora, and Jason running. And Jason wants to go back and get Suki in. Nora goes, no, no, we don't. We don't want to uh, get hurt. Eric told me to really look out for everybody. I don't want any of you to get hurt. And then uh, Pam goes, we got to go back for Eric. And she he goes, she goes, I am close to Eric and... You know, I, he told me look after you or whatever. And she goes, well, who the hell are you? Who are you? And you can tell right off that Pam doesn't like anybody being close to Eric who isn't her. I like Pam and I understand that. But I think she overreacts sometimes. They get out of there and then you see this car pull up and it's Eric and Suki in it. They all get in the car and... um they turn and look around. They see Bill coming out. He's bloody and stuff. And then they realize that he's turned into this creature. And then they just... He just hauls ass with the car. And then he just keeps going. He's like, let's blow this pop popsicle joint. And then on the uh, radio, they listen to this politician who uh, is saying that all the vampires need to... Stay inside after sundown. They can't be out. We are boycotting all the uh, vampire establishments. And I'm thinking, oh my god. They really are against the vampires. And the vampires are really risking their lives. To, they're really going to have to be afraid of the humans this year. Um, then they show Sam and Luna and Luna looks like she's just dying and I'm thinking oh my god I think she's gonna die because like I told you on my other video when I did the review of the trailer I didn't see her in there and it turns out that she did die and she told Sam to look after her daughter Sam has her daughter and he goes back to my lots where um where he hears somebody he finds out it's Lala and Lala kind of takes the girl and fix fixes her something to eat and then um sam goes please don't tell anybody you saw us here it's very dangerous her life depends on it don't tell anybody you saw us here and he goes okay fine and then um they show eric and you know the, all the vampires and stuff and suki and they're at the beach someplace and well actually they're in the car and um Pam and Nora having this little fight and she goes who are you who are you and then uh, Eric goes I need to have to have a word with Nora and they get out the car and then Pam goes well who is Nora who is Nora and she, he goes my sister she goes your sister after a hundred years I've known you never told me you had a sister you never told me any of that she goes I don't tell you everything she goes, after 100 years, you don't trust me after 100 years? And he goes, I need to have a word with Nora. And Nora tells him that uh, that she needs to find out who Warlow is and and um, how Jason knows about Warlow. And he, he goes, Jason? You want to know what Jason knows about that book? Jason has never read a book in his life. And then she goes, he goes, after all this praying you did to Lily, you don't know who Warlow is? He goes, you don't know who Warlow is either. He said, how does Jason know more than you? And then he go she goes and tries to talk to Jason. Jason doesn't want to tell her anything. And then um, she glamours him. And then Jason gets mad and wants to try to kill her. And then Suki steps in and is like, no, to get through Nora, you have to get through me. And I thought that was nice that she stood up for Nora. Because that was Eric's sister. And Eric was stepping up too. And he said, you can try. What? Why don't you go ahead and kill her? And we, we all knew Jason wasn't going to kill her. And Jason got mad at Suki because she took their side over his. And said, he told her, uh, Suki that he was through with her. That she was no sister. His, and he just ran off and left. And then all of a sudden... um. Well, actually, before, before I'll talk about Jessica being summoned by Eric, by Bill, 
Pam is crying again over Eric. She's mad. She's upset. And Tara had they have a tender moment where um uh Tara gives her some sound advice and says that love doesn't have to be a competition all the time. And that uh Eric does love her. And I think she needs to realize that and stop being so insecure every time somebody gets close to Eric. Uh what's I wanna talk about? Jessica gets summoned by Bill and she f almost feels like she's being ripped apart and Suki ends up helping her taking her to Bill or taking her back to Bill's house and they look around they're suspicious of it because they sense that he's there anyway he's there but he claims he doesn't want to hurt them Eric and uh, Nora show up and Bill attacks Eric, and I'm thinking, oh my god, Bill is now stronger than Eric. And Suki, to try to help Eric, puts a stake through uh, Bill, Bill's heart, Bill's heart, and nothing happens. He doesn't die or anything, he just pulls the stake out, and um, I just couldn't believe that happened. Anyway, what else happened? Jessica decided that she wanted them to leave her alone. That she wanted to be there with Bill. And that that she didn't want their help. And I was thinking, wow, you don't know what Bill is. You don't know if he's going to hurt you or what. Suki helped you. And she just said that you don't understand what it's like to have a maker. And that I love him and I want to be with him. But I'm still confused as to how loyal... Um, or how Bill is and how is he good is he bad or what's going to happen with him is he the same Bill or whatever I don't know uh something else happens they show Alcide he looks so good um he's there as the pack leader and has as the pack leader he has to eat the other leader and he picks up the arm bites into it starts howling at the moon and I'm just going crazy and then this one weird chick just bows down to him and goes, I accept you as the pack leader. And if you need anything or anything that you need me to do, I'll do it. And she kind of looks at him seductively. And then um, Ricky just looks like, mm, look like he has all the help he needs. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I hope she doesn't get, I, hope, I don't know what's going to happen with that. He rips his shirt off and I just start screaming, going crazy. And then he shifts into his wolf and they all run off. And then him and that other chick start making out and Ricky sees it. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, it's about to be a girl fight. Beat her ass, beat her ass. And then um, she actually ends up doing a threesome with them. At first, she looks like she's about to attack him. And then she goes, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I started it. He apologizes and she goes, she goes, where do you think you're going? She goes like this. And then they start making out doing the three. And she puts him down on our seas, you know what? Then they start making out. And I'm thinking, I thought you would be a down chick for our seas. Now you engaging in threesomes. I know you want to have fun and stuff, but don't share your man with other women. That's a no-no. What else I want to talk about? Uh... I can't think of anything else. The ending was crazy. While well, those Bill or Lilith's going into Bill. When I was going to happen with that. Oh, and Jessica and Bill had a tender moment where he gave her true blood and it fell. And he picked it up with his mind and didn't even know he could do it. I want to know what that was about. Uh, like I told you, Luna died. Uh, Andy Bell for his four children, he doesn't want to deal with. They're all, they're all, uh, four, uh,